हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम बैक विद द न्यू वीडियो अगेन आई वॉन्ट टू इम्फोसाइज ऑन द फैक्ट दैट ऑल दीज वीडियोज विच आई मेड आई हैव केप्ट कमिंग प्रिलिम्स एग्जाम इन टू कंसिडरेशन मेनी ऑफ द टॉपिक्स विच आई हैव डिस्कस्ड दे आर वेरी रिलेवेंट फ्रॉम करेंट एस्पेक्ट वेर पॉसिबली क्वेश्चन कैन बी आज इन द एग्जाम अनदर एस्पेक्ट विच आई है repeatedly told in the previous uh, videos where i have given the list of topics uh, to be prepared for coming prelims exam i will again reiterate the same uh, words that here in this this video again i am giving you the list of topics uh, from ict and computing information communication technology and advanced computing and mentioning those topics which are relevant from current affairs where you have to know the theory part and the application part you have to further go ahead and read these topics from whatever study materials you have or else you can go to the same thing in part 6 of my science and technology book published by ogbridge publication this is the revised book and is available in the market i have given the topics of ict and computing in part 6 of my book so you can follow from there i have given the theory applications current affairs government programs everything is there so in the context of the book and the topics which are relevant for upsc prelims exam you can also think of the main exam as well i am just listing the topics so again i'll uh, emphasize uh, that i am providing you the list of topics i am not teaching you the concept and the theory and the application part it is just only for you to know the topics which are relevant so that you can read on your own and prepare those topics for the coming examination so let me now go to the topics one of the areas where you could expect question in the coming exam is on high performance computing particularly there are some areas which are making lot of headlines these days and uh, you must uh, read those topics in detail and uh, be prepared with questions in the prelims exams now first one is supercomputers now so far if you see the previous year question papers of upsc exam you'll find that supercomputers have been asked only in main examination perspective so there is a good chance that uh, coming prelims exam you could get question from supercomputers now recently two computers uh, supercomputers made headlines that is a pratyush and mihir pratyush uh, has a speed of 4 peta flop peta stands for 10 to the power 15 flop stands for floating operation uh, per uh, second and mihir that is the 2.8 peta flop supercomputer if you combine pratyush and mihir together both the supercomputers stand at rank 1 in india now as of now it is the highest in terms of supercomputing capacity pratyush and mihir is in the news for a, a recent times and so far upsc has not asked question so you might be uh, expecting the question in the examination now from the government programs uh, you have to be aware of national supercomputing facilities now in this context uh, in my science tech book i have mentioned about the role of cdac center for development of advanced computing located in pune which in 1988 was set up by the government of india and uh, you all know that cdac uh, has developed indigenous uh, param supercomputers and we have a series of param supercomputers same organization has built a fastest supercomputers in india and particularly pratyush and mihir comes from cdac so you should be aware from main exam perspective development in different fields of science and technology and is very clearly given in gs3 paper developments in it and computing so even the question can be asked in the main examination so you should look from both the examination perspective so we have a recently a very very dedicated program 
which have given detailed part in the textbook national supercomputing mission this nasa supercomputing mission is going to integrate all supercomputing facilities in india into a high powered grid which can help in collaborative research academic and uh, um, scientific uh, uh, r&d can be supported through nasa supercomputing mission program so please be prepared of the question in the exam now another very very important part from upsc exam is grid computing now grid computing is like a distributed network of computers and systems located different geographical areas and together it makes a high powered super performing uh, a computer grid now in india we have uh, developed a national grid net grid with the support of cdac at the same time in recent years for academic and research purpose national knowledge network nkn is also super computing grid so i have provided those uh, concepts in the textbook please read about that upsc has not asked question so you could get question from there now coming forward very very important for the examination molecular computing now i'll just mention one example dna computing we can use uh, deoxy ribonucleic acid dna molecule nucleic acid in terms of uh, computation scientists from israel in the lab they have uh, demonstrated that dna molecule double stranded molecule can easily store information in terms of four nitrogenous bases adenine thymine cytosine guanine and we can easily use enzymes biological enzymes to cut and join dna and we can have the strings of dna and the letters like atcg and can carry out computation in the lab now this field is in infancy the future may be molecular computing so i have given that part in the textbook now coming to another great area optical computing where the photon or light to be used in terms of computation now there is a branch of electronics called photonics where the photons in terms of carrier of information and it becomes very important uh, from communication technology point of view also like now it is quantum computing right uh, i'll mention one more very important area where the light has become a very important source of communication lifi light fidelity harold hash who has developed this concept of light fidelity where the information can be carried from one place to another with the help of photons or light so a lot of things are coming in the field of science and technology so optical computing is another area where you could get question in the exam now very important part i have given here superconducting quantum computing cable which again used for research purpose and uh, supported by department of science and technology and csi lab so i have mentioned there now next important topic is quantum computing now recently google company using the d wave quantum computing system has uh, come out with the quantum supremacy that is a quantum super com computer com quantum computers developed by the company google now lot of uh, developments are taking place in the field of quantum computing and communication now so far upsc has not asked any question in this area so you could expect question in quantum computing in coming prelims exam as well as mains exam so please go through the concept of quantum computing from the examination point of view just briefly i'll tell you that quantum computer as compared to normal computer desktop computer or super computer work with quantum bits of information now quantum bits of information qubits are based on quantum mechanical principles of superposition and entanglement so there is a very new and advanced area of research and it holds a lot of promise in future so i have given those detail part in the textbook in the respective chapter you go there and read about more detail now d wave quantum computer is a um, d wave is a company which has developed this quantum computer and google company using the same system to develop quantum supremacy now um, about the quantum cryptography another very very important upcoming area in the field of science and technology and national security is the cryptography or encryption of data by using quantum bits of information china has been doing a lot of research in this field and uh, india also has recently started a quantum computing race in terms of uh, how we can maintain 
in uh, uh, security of the computing devices and systems at the same time do the cutting edge research in the field of quantum communication and quantum computing so dst is giving fund for that i have given that bio computing i have mentioned dna computing now i am coming to uh, future uh, technology which has already started in our day to day life is about ai or artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning and artificial intelligence are another um, new wave in the field of communication technology and the computing part and is revolutionizing our lives future has lot of promises in the area of artificial intelligence and you could expect question in the coming exam please make sure to read about ai concept application at the same time what government of india is trying to do plus current development i have given every aspect of it in the chapter in my science and technology book so artificial intelligence is that when the machine the hardware and the software can do the same task what a human being can do and now in this context uh, i have uh, discussed about sofia you know the humanoid robot human like robot which has got saudi arabia citizenship and she works with the uh, part of the artificial intelligence developed by hansen robotics from hong kong so that is a part i have mentioned from the ai point of but again remember ai is not that only robot or any robotic application ai goes beyond that ai can be used in transport system ai can be used in smart home ai can be used in any decision making process ai can be simple software in computers and the mobile phone so there are lot of development and lot of applications from the ai system now i have given the next part in the same chapter about information technology definition and the application part the basic concept of that and then about what is internet what is intranet mobile phone technology like uh, generation of mobile phone uh, what we use now we are using 4g and now we are moving to 5g uh, bluetooth wifi wimax all these have been given there optical fiber technology in terms of transmission of data i have given application part now another very important thing which you know voip voice over internet protocol then internet uh, protocol television ip television then i have given how ip tv is different from cable technology that optical fiber technology another very important topic ipv6 internet protocol version 6 with the coming of the millennium now in order to have more and more domain names what we use as a kind of ip addresses of computers now that ipv6 has been started by icann so i have given that part and i have also mentioned about this uh, american organization icann which stands for internet corporation for assigned names and numbers and the domain name uh, registration and the domain name re- dispute resolution in terms of uh, arbitration and mediation part again that can be part of your uh, main exam also another very important current news which has made headline free basics or internet.org from the facebook and um, it came under controversy because of uh, a very unique concept uh, what is called as net neutrality that internet should be free for everyone is a philosophy which has been you know pinched by many of the uh, people worldwide that it should not be discriminated in terms of content and the the flow of information through internet so facebook's uh, campaign and initiative internet.org uh, was uh, criticized uh, in terms of violation of net neutrality so i have given that free basis and zero rating that is an airtel the net net neutrality part of it then controversy regarding that then coming to akila akila is a facebook initiative where solar powered drone to be used for providing broadband and internet connectivity to far away areas the concept uh, goes in a same objective what google company is trying to do with the hot air balloon in the troposphere that is called as a project loon so on the same uh, aspect facebook company has now working to develop akila which is a solar power drone to provide broadband connectivity to far away areas so i have given that then i have mentioned about bhargav committee on uh, net neutrality part what are the issues involved then consultation paper and the recommendation part of it what are the challenges there then coming to from prelims point of view mobile phone technology and the standards and the generation like gsm technology gprs age then 3g technology 4g technology you know that upsc had already asked question about 4g lte long term evolution 
what we are using right now and volte voice over lte that was asked in the exam so it's already been there in my book that's what uh, every video when i'm providing you the list of topics i have been telling repeatedly that this book is a uh, a book where i have worked very hard to provide exhaustive information and provide you all such relevant and important areas where upsc is asking question continuously in the exam this book is already like the first edition came 5 6 years back now the revised edition is right now in the market and continuously upsc has been asking question from various chapters of my book so that's what um, uh, even i am very confident that coming exams there still many questions can be asked from this uh, science tech book so please make sure to get hold of the book and go through the topics so i have given this about the 5g technology which can be asked in the exam then bluetooth then wimax uh, then about lifi light fidelity compared with wifi wireless fidelity case of that then fast tag you know that national highway authority of india has now started fast tag in the toll uh, in the highways there so that is based on rfid radio frequency identification device based and qr code is used for quick response code for identification paying the toll amount at the toll plazas so that i have given then come into very important thing cloud computing another very important topic for both prelims and main examination and today we are using the cloud to back up the data and provide all type of computational and uh, services through the cloud number of cloud vendors and companies have come up which are offering the cloud computing services to clients so i have given from the government point of view and particularly i have mentioned about here digital india program and the use of cloud uh, method by the government like one cloud which government of india using is meghdoot that is developed by cdac you will find all those kind of the detail part of it types of cloud services advantages of cloud computing even disadvantages of cloud computing in terms of cyber security and those aspect and then i have given cyber forensic let's say cyber fraud credit card debit card bank fraud any kind of cyber crime so how and what tools we can use to find out the crime cyber crime and cyber fraud and as per it act 2000 which was revised in 2008 i have given the legal provision also there so it is also important from ipr intellectual property rights at the same time in terms of data protection and cyber security aspect then i have given what are the mal- malware attack vectors identity theft firewall cyber security for organization then very very important this uh, iso 27001 which is certification uh, for cyber security and be brought by bsi so that part i have given then role of cdac in cyber technology in terms of providing the tools and softwares for cyber security and cyber forensics so i have given that but then come into very very important topic budapest convention on cyber crime that is a european convention which looks uh, at worldwide global level of cyber security measures so um, government of india has taken steps based on that so i have given that then information technology act 2000 now upsc had already asked question about digital signature in the exam that's what i have said a few minutes back that in this book the lot of topics where upsc have been asking question continuously so it is not that matter i am talking about what have been asked there are still many areas where you could expect question in the coming prelims exam then about controller of certifying authorities cyber appellate tribunal biometrics even the upsc has asked question about that types of biometrics whether the fingerprint or uh, aadhar enabled you know iris scan fingerprints the voice uh, facial recognition all the technological part comes here in this area of the topic so i have given their security and privacy issues of biometrics biometric vulnerabilities how biometric works then aadhar card digital india like upsc had asked about aadhar api then i have also given that um, uh, pillars of digital india program then about the implementation part of it then about national policy on electronics then uh, you know that upsc had asked question about digi locker e locker or e cloud digital locker cloud where um, the all the data can be backed up and uh, lakhs of subscribers have already joined digi locker of government of india so ministry of electronics information technology as part of the digital india program so that is also then bhimap even upsc had asked question about bhimap that is bharat interface for money 
as a UPI, right? What we have been using Paytm or Google Play Pay and all. So Bhim app, uh, which have been be used by uh, many of the people in India. So I have given about that, and the already question has been asked in the exam. So every aspect of the information technology and computing part you will find in this particular uh, uh, book there. So that's what uh, I've been saying that I'm not going a detail part of any of the topic and going into very detail into that. Briefly, I am just uh, telling you some of the areas and highlighting important topics for examination. So my objective is that that the students who are seriously preparing for the examination should look into these topics and prepare very well for the coming exams. So um, in the chapter where it ends, I have given summary part. Then you have a previous year question paper for practice. Uh, at the same time, new questions for practice for both objective types and subjective. So uh, I thank uh, Oakbridge Publication, um, which has given me the opportunity to uh, get into such kind of textbook with revision so that uh, uh, many students can get benefit from uh, this particular textbook. If you have any query, please write it to info at oakbridge.in for any kind of doubt or any kind of a query. Oakbridge will handle those queries. So I thank every one of you to watch this particular video and be aware of those topics which I have listed here. I will be soon coming to another um, topic uh, uh, chapter from my textbook where I'll detail about new and emerging areas. So keep uh, reading there, keep on